The first three terms of an arithmetic sequence are given by x, 3x minus 8, and 11.5. Determine the first term and the common difference. Determine the 18th term and determine the sum of the first 18 terms. x is t of 1, 3x minus 8 is t of 2, and 11.5 is t of 3. We're asked to find the first term and the common difference. If you think about what common difference is, it's the second term minus the first term. We have 3x minus 8, subtract x, 3x minus x is 2x minus 8. And we have d is equal to 11.5, subtract 3x minus 8, and we need brackets around the 3x minus 8 because it's the whole thing. We're subtracting all of it from 11.5. And that gives us 11.5. Careful, this is a negative 1 times this whole thing. We need to distribute the negative 1 through. Negative 1 times 3x is negative 3x. And negative 1 times negative 8 is a positive 8. Darken that sign because there is where most students make a mistake. We get negative 3x and then 11.5 plus 8 is 19.5 and that's our d value. Now these two d's come together. d is the same as d. We can say that 2x minus 8 is the same as negative 3x plus 19.5. Now we have to remember how to solve an equation. Our job is to get all of the x's on one side of the equation. And there's our equal sign. What I want to do is I want to make this a zero pair. If I add 3x to the right side, I need to add 3x to the left side because I have an equation. We can do that. Whatever we want to add to one side of the equation, we must do to the other. And when we do that, this becomes a 0x or 0. It's a 0 pair. And we have 19.5 on the right. And now we have 5x on the left as well as the negative 8. If we want 5x by itself now, we're going to add 8, both sides, and that gives us 27.5, and this is a 0. It's a 0 pair. And 5x on the left, 5 times what is 27.5? It's really hard to think that. What we need to do then is perform algebra. If we have multiply in between here, the inverse operation, is divide. So we're going to divide by 5 and divide by 5 to get 5 divided by 5 is 1x on the left and 27.5 divided by 5, not subtract. And that gives us 5.5. x is 5.5. And it turns out the first term is 5.5 because it is x. Nicely done. We found the first term, t of 1 is 5.5, but now we have to find the common difference. We could use this equation to find d and also this equation to find d. Let's use this one first. We're looking for d. d is 2x minus 8. 2 times 5.5 was x minus 8. 2 times 5.5 minus 8 equals 3. If we put a 5.5 here, will we get 
the same D. Let's try it. We have a 3, negative 3, times 5.5 equals, and then add 19.5. And it's 3. The common difference is 3. Now determine the 18th term. We know we have n is equal to 18, and what we want is that value. Do we have enough information? Oh yes, we have d is 3 as well, and we have the first term. We have enough information. We have t of 1, we have n, we have d, and we're able to find that value of the 18th term. t of 18 is the first term plus 18 minus 1 times d. And we don't need brackets around here because this means multiply right here. We have 5.5 plus 17 times 3. Do we need brackets around 17? If you want to put them, you can, but you don't need them because this means multiply. And that gives us, I'll go 17 times 3 and add 5.5. And the value is 56.5. 0.5. That is t of 18. First term we got was 5.5 and the common difference we got was 3 and the t of 18 was 56.5 and now we're asked to find the sum of the first 18 terms. Let's list everything we know first. We want 18 terms we know the last term is 56.5. We know the first term, 5.5. And we know D is 3. What formula can we use? We have a couple choices. I'm actually going to put commas in between here for the sequence. And so for the sum, we have n given, we have the first term and the t of 18th term. I think we can use this one. Whenever you can use this one, do it. I mean, this one would work as well. In fact, we could use both and see if we're getting the same answer. Let's do that. Let's, let's use the first one and then we'll check again with the second because we have enough information. We'll use s of n is equal to n divided by 2 times the first term plus that last term. n is 18 divided by 2. t of 1 is 5.5. And the 18th term is 56.5. 5.5 plus 56.5 is 62. 18 divided by 2 is 9, and then this was a 62. We have times 9, 558. The sum of 18 terms is 558. What does that sum of 558 mean? It means this term plus this term plus this term, and all of the terms up to 18 of them adds up to 558. Should we try this one and see if it works? S of 18 is equal to, we have 18 terms, and then 2 times the 5.5 plus, we have 18 minus 1 makes 17, and then the D value we said was 3. 17 times 3 is 51, and then I know plus 5.5 times 2 is 11, which is 62, and then times that 9 gives us the same answer, 558. Good job!